Okay, let's look at the first example for Unit 7, Lesson D, Surface Area of Cylinders. So this is a net, and remember a net is what we did if we took a cylinder and cut it into pieces. This would be the top. So think of a Pringles can. This would be the top of our can. This would be the bottom. And if you were actually to cut a Pringles can and lay it flat, the um, side, which holds the two bases together, would be a rectangle as shown here. Now, we want to find the surface area. So we want to find the area of this circle, plus the area of this circle, plus the area of the rectangle. Now, in previous lessons, you already found how to find the area of a circle. This time, we just have two circles. You should also know how to find the area of a rectangle. And if you can find the area of all three parts, you can add them all up to get the final answer. So it's like doing three questions in one problem. So let's start with the circles. <clears throat> so let's find the area of one of the circles, this one up here. Now keep in mind, this circle and this circle are the same, so they're going to have the same answer for area. <clears throat> now the radius is 6. So we're going to say the area of the circle is pi times 6 squared. <clears throat> so the area of one circle is 36 pi. So the area of this circle <clears throat> is 36 pi, which means the area of this circle is also 36 pi. Or if this is for one circle, then we can just multiply our answer by 2 because we have two circles. So 36 times 2, we get 72 pi for both circles, okay? Because 36 plus 36 would equal 72. <clears throat> so this is for both circles, okay? Find the area of 1, multiply it by 2 because we have two circles. <clears throat> The last thing we need to do is find the area of the rectangle. Let me label this circle. So the rectangle area is length times width. Well, here is the tricky part. We already know the width. The width is 14.8, but we need to find the length, which is this part right here and there are no numbers in our picture. So, <clears throat> what I know is the outside of the circle, when we roll all of this back up, the outside of the circle, which is the circumference, is the same as the length of the rectangle. So this part right here, this length is the same as the circumference. So we have to do a little extra work. So this length of the rectangle <clears throat> is equal to 2 pi r. Now, circumference can be pi times diameter, or it can be 2 pi r. And the reason why I use 2 pi r is because it told us the r. So this is going to be 2 times pi times 6, which is 12 pi. So here is the length, here is the width. So area of the rectangle is 12 pi times 14.8. Now that seems really funny to write because this has a pi symbol in it. Because the length of this rectangle is the same as the circumference of a circle. Now when I plug all that in, we are going to do 12 times 14.8 and we get 177.6 pi. That's the area of the rectangle. We want to add these two amounts because this is the area of both circles. This is the area of the rectangle. We want to add them both in 177.6 plus 72. So I add the numbers here and we get 249.6 pi <clears throat> meters squared. Now remember, the exact surface area is in terms of pi, but the estimated is when we take this answer and we actually plug in 
the pi. So 249.6 times pi, hit enter, and this is approximately 784.14, I just looked up here and it said round to the nearest hundredth, so 784.14 meters squared. So I know that gets to be kind of complicated. You might need to rewind and watch the video again of how I found the two circles, how I found the area of the rectangle, because I had to do an extra calculation for the length. Then we combined both of our answers to get our exact and our estimated surface area of this cylinder.